Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala Then here we are reading the 11th reading from Al-Qira'atu Rashida guided Arabic reading it's entitled As-Sa'atu 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 has a number of meanings As-Sa'a can be the hour As-Sa'a can be the time As-Sa'a can be a clock As-Sa'a can be a watch all of them are related to one another. Hour, time, clock, watch, depending upon their use. And we'll see the usage of some of them. If not all of them, maybe we'll be missing clock in this lesson. But just know a clock and a watch is the same thing. They might say, Sa'at al Jidar. The sa of the wall was sa to yed and the sa of the hand. Same thing. The clock on your hand, the clock on the wall, right? Same thing. Here, a sa to it means a watch. The watch. Could be the hour or the time, but the majority of the conversation is about the watch but it starts out over the time. So it's going to be up to you to translate a sa'atu the way you feel best when you finish this lesson. As we said, this is not a translation class and plus we're not forcing anyone to translate things the way we see them. You must conform to the Arabic language and to the conversation in the context of what you're talking, but if one chooses to say automobile and one chooses to say vehicle and one chooses to say car, then all of those, inshallah, are acceptable. So, asa, harith. This is a conversation between harith and Sa'id. Harith, he says, Kem sa'atu ya akhi. Kem means how much? Kem means how many, rather. That's better. How many? The word kem means how many? Asatu, like how many are the hours, right? How many are the hours? And whenever we have the word kem, then the noun following it is singular. So we don't say kem sa'at, right? We don't say, for instance, dinar for, for Kuwaiti currency. Dinar wa dananir. So if you want to ask how much is something or how many do they have, you don't say Kem dananir. You say kem dinaren. And you make it mensub. Dinaren. Kem asatu achi. Right? Kem asatu. Basically, the phrase, we're not going to translate this word for word here. We're going to translate this as a phrase. What is the hour? What is the hour? Or what time is it? Right? You say how many hours? Right? But basically, what time is it? So you want to ask someone. What time is it? You ask them in Arabic. Kemasa. Kemasa. Ya akhi. Oh, my brother. Said, he says, As-sa'atu asharun wa rub'un. Alaysa indaka sa'atun? 
He says, Asa'a, the hour or the time. Ashara. Ashara is ten. Warub'un. Now here we're going to learn a few uh, things for telling time. We have the hour, which here we're going to say Ashur. Right? Ashron. If it was 10 o'clock, you say Ashron. If we want to say 10 15, we say Ashron Warubun. Warubun, Asaf. Warub on the same as we have here. Rub on right ten thirty. We're going to say one this Asheron one this fun ten and a half. Rub is a is a quarter. So a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. Nus is a half. So you can use this and other things. If you have a pizza, you can cut it up into rub. The juz of the Quran. The juz, the Quran. The Quran is broken up into 30 parts, 30 juz, right? Each juz is broken up into two hizbs, right? 10 pages a piece, basically, in the Medina Mosaf. And each hizb is broken up into four rub, rub. Rub uns, rub, right? So it's about two and a half pages. So if we say four times two and a half, that gives us 10 times two is 20, which is pages in the juz, times 30, which is 600 pages, and the most half is 604 pages total, right? So a uh, hizb, is a section, a juz is a section, a hizb is a section, but a ruba is considered a quarter, right? And then we say 10.15, we will say ashrun wa ruba'un. 10.30, ashrun wa nusfun, right? 10.45, we say The opposite. We'll say Al Ihda Ashara Illa Illa except Rubun. So what happened here is we'll say ten, we'll say eleven except a quarter. So ten forty five. Right, when you get around here, then you're going to say this. Now, if you want to say it's 10.05, you can say Ashara, Asa Ashara, Wa Khamsu, Wa Khamsu Daqaiq. And you're going to say in five minutes. But this is not the time to learn all this. We're trying to read. But this is some example. Another thing that they use a lot. They're going to break the hour up into big parts. So here we see that this is broken up into 15 minute sections, right? Another way they do it is by 20 minute sections. So they'll say Ashara. And we're going to have this in class. Ashara wa thulath. A third. A thulath is a third. And then if you want to say 1040, you would say 
Ehda Ashera Illa Thuluth. Illa Thuluthon. Right? Except a third. Right? So 11 except a third left until that. Right? So we're going to get that. Inshallah, there are uh, pages and PDFs out there teaching us how to tell time. Something that's important for us to want to be able to do. So here we have Kemasatu Ya Akhi. What time is it, oh my brother? Saidi answers Asatu Ashrun wa Rubun. The time is ten and a fourth or ten fifteen. Alaysa indaka sa'a. This alif here is a question. It makes the sentence into a question. Laysa indaka. Laysa is a negation. And enda means with you or to have. So if I say indaka sa'atun. With you is a clock or a watch. Right? Meaning you have one. With you, you have one. Same meaning. Laysa is a negation. You do not have a watch. But then this is a question. Don't you have a watch? Saeed asks him. Alaysa indaka sa'a? Harathi responds. Bella. Meaning of course. Of course. And when you have someone asking you this negative question. If someone says, Hal indaka sa'a? Hal indaka sa'a? You say, Naam. Yes. But here he said, Don't you have a watch? If you say, Naam. This is a little bit complicated, but it's something you have to understand because it's in the Quran and it's how the Arabs speak. So here, I'm going to write it in English, inshallah, for the benefit of being able to understand it. You say, do you have A watch. You can say yes. Nam. Hal indaka saaton. Nam. But if you say, don't you have a watch? These are two different questions, right? If you say Nam in Arabic, in English, if we'll say yes. Don't you have a watch? Yeah, I got a watch. Yeah, you'll say yeah. But in Arabic, Alaysa Indica, right? If you were to say yes to this, in Arabic now we're talking about, even though I'm writing it in English, you mean yes, for instance. What is the answer to this? Do you have a watch? Yes, I have a watch right you just repeat the sentence that you're confirming yes I have a watch if you say yes to this negative sentence and again we're talking about in Arabic because in English we don't use it like that and most people don't understand what I'm saying in the English language like this yes I don't have a watch So if you say yes to this negative sentence, you're confirming the negation in it, right? Do you have a watch? Yes, I have a watch. Don't you have a watch? Yes, I don't have a watch. Now in English, we say no, I don't have a watch. But in Arabic, if you were to say yes, I don't have a watch, naam, 
then you would be affirming the negation. So, the way that we get around that in Arabic, alaysa indaka sa'a, he says, bala. Right? Bala. And this is what we find in the Quran. You look at this word, bala, and you're going to find that it's an answer to a negation. So, for instance, we find in Surah Al Baqarah, ayat number 260, where Ibrahim he says to Allah Azza wa Jal. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَهِيمُ رَبِّي أَرَنِي كَيْفَ نُحْيَ الْمَوْتَى Show me how you give life to the dead. قَالَ أَوَلَمْ تُؤْمِنْ Allah says to him, Do you not believe? It's a negation. It's a negative sentence. Do you not believe? قَالَ بَلَى He said, Yes. I believe. Bella, of course, I believe. So that Bella is the way that you answer positively to a negative question. Right? So let's look in the end in, for instance, Surah Al Inshiqaq. Right? Innahu dhanna allan yahur. He thought that he would never be brought back. He thought that he would never be brought back. So it's a negation. This person, we're talking about the kuffar, he thought he would never be resurrected. Bala inna rabbahu kana bihi basira. Rather, his Lord, right, is ever watching or ever seeing over him. So this bala is the way that you answer a negation. Right? So when Allah asks us in the end of Surah Tateen, Alaysa Allahu bi ahkamil hakimin, isn't Allah the best of judges? Right? Then you say, Bala. You say, Of course, He's the best of judges. Right? So this bala is the way. Hopefully this is clear for you. If not, it's just going to take practice. If you say nam to a negate to a negative question, then it's confirming the negative aspect of it. Whereas if you want to say yes, hal alaysa indaka sa, don't you have a watch? Say bala. Yes, of course. That's the way to say yes. Bella is the way to say yes to a negative question. Walakinna sa'ati waqifa. Walakinna. This means but. Lakinna is but. Yeah, I have a watch, but sa'ati, my watch. Right? And this is how this ya is how you make something yours. Sa'ati, kitabi, my book, bait, house, baiti, my house, right, masjid, me, you know, a masjid, masjidi, my masjid, right, rab, lord, rabbi, my lord, right, so sa'ati, Waqifa. Waqifa means it stopped. Waqif. Waqif means it stopped. Right? And it's with a ta marbuta because sa'a has a ta marbuta. Right? It's feminine. So waqifa. Naam. Bala. I have a watch. Walakin na sa'ati waqifa. But my watch stopped. Said he says, La'allaka ma malataha. La'alla, la'alla means perhaps or maybe. 
la'allaka, perhaps you, ma here is a negation, mala'a, mim, lam, hamza. It means to wind. We know this book is a little old. When you have, used to have to wind watches. Now today most watches have batteries, although there are still some that have winding. Ma ma la taha. This ta here is you. Maybe you didn't, perhaps you didn't wind it. This ha is referring to the sa because sa is feminine. Ma ma la taha. Perhaps you didn't wind it. Harith, he says, naam. You see? He's got a negation here. Ma malataha. You didn't wind it. He says, Nam. Yes. Meaning, Ma malatuha. I didn't wind it. So this Nam here is affirming the negation here. Whereas Bala is contradicting the negation found here. Don't you have a watch? Yes, I do have a watch. Perhaps you didn't wind it? Yes. Nasitu and amla'aha al Nam, yes, he's negating the, or he's affirming the negation. Yes. Nasitu from nasiya, meaning to forget. Nasitu. Tu here is I. I forgot and that. Or we might translate that as two here. Amla'aha. Amla'aha. Right? Amla'aha. Amla'a would be that I wind it. I forgot that I wind it. Meaning, but in English we would just say, I forgot to wind it. This would be the present tense. Amla'a. Yamla'a. Right? Amla'aha. Nam nasitu an amla'aha al bariha from ba'raha, meaning last night. Al bariha means last night. Not yesterday. Yesterday is ams. But al bariha means last night, at the night time. Nam, yes. And the implication is nam. Ma malatuha nasitu an amla'aha al bariha. I forgot to wind it last night. Ana amla'uha fi sa'ati al ashirati fi layl. Ana, I, this is I, amla'uha. Here we have a fatha because of N. N is a particle, a harf, which makes the verb after it, the present tense verb after it, mensub, with a fatta here. Here, there's no N in front of it, so it has its regular marfu form. So we say, Ana amla'uha, I wind it, fi sa'atil ashirati, at 10 o'clock, right? A sa'a al ashira. At the tenth hour, meaning ten o'clock, filayl at night in the night time. Walakinni, but I here we have lakinna. That's just but lakinni with this here. But I ghalabatni from gain lam ba, meaning to overtake. To overtake, to overpower, right? To overpower. So he says, Ghalabatni Aini. Ain is his eyes, his eye, my eye, right? But here he, he means his eyes. And I is a feminine word, the eye, right? I know it's not very pretty. The I is a feminine word. Why? 
because it is a pair. It has a pair. It has two of them. So therefore, it is feminine. Because body parts that have two are feminine. Hands, right, feet, knees, hips, shins, thighs, arms, elbows, shoulders, ears, right? All those things are feminine. We talk about them if they have a pair, they are feminine. And so we talk about them as if they are feminine singular. So, غلبت ni عيني. My eyes overtook me. I mean, I was so tired, my eyes overtook me. They overpowered me. I mean, I went to sleep, right? Al-bariha, last night. فقد كنت فقد فا is so or therefore and قد is emphasis. Sometimes it's translated, sometimes it's not. Kuntu ta'iban. I was tired from ta'ain ba. I was tired. Jiddin. Very tired. I was very tired. Fama mala tuha. So I didn't wind it. So I didn't wind it. Saidi says, Hal to read. Dabtaha bisaati. Hal to read. Hal is a question. To read is do you want from rawada? That's the that's the root, but it's form four of rawada for arada. You read We did this before, right? Arada you read Hal to read Do you want? Dabtaha mafulun bihi mansub. Dabd here means to set or to adjust. Right? Right? Do you want to set it, meaning your watch, bisaati with my watch? Do you want to set it with my watch? Do you want to adjust it? Because he put his watch on, but it wasn't working. Because ghalabathu aynayi. He, his eyes overtook him, so he didn't wind his watch, but he has it on, but it's not telling the time because it had stopped. Waqifa, sa'atuhu waqifatun. So he asked him, Hal turidu dabtaha? Do you want to set it with my watch? Harith. He says, Naam, yes. It's a positive question. Do you want to? Yes. If he said, Alaysa to read, Alasta to read, Dabtaha, Bisati. If he said, Don't you want to set it with my watch? He would have said, Bella. But here he said, Hell to read. It's a positive sentence. So he makes it positive with Naam. If it's a negative sentence, he wants to make it positive with Bella. Adbituha, the present tense, right? Davita yadbutu, yadbitu, adbituha. I will set it bisaatika with your watch. Either can it saatuka, either here means if. If your watch was or is mustaqimatan from qawama qaf waw mean mustaqima meaning like we have as mustaqim the straight path if your watch it can at sa'atuka mustaqima meaning if your watch is straight if your watch is correct Right? A sirat al is the, the correct path. It's not only just the straight path, it's the correct path. Right? Mustaqim here means if your watch is straight, if your watch is going according to what it's supposed to do. Right? Saidi says, Sa'ati, my watch, tataqaddamu from qaf dal mean. 
meaning to go forward right we're here we want to go forward remember we're talking about Arabic so you might look at my picture and say that looks backward to me this is backwards in Arabic we're talking in Arabic so this is forward we read from right to left right so he says تتقدموا, تتقدموا, it goes forward it comes forward دقيقتين, two minutes دقيقة is minute دقيقة is minute so someone tells you hey Abdullah tell them دقيقة like one minute give me a minute right Daqiqatain or daqiqatan, two minutes. Daqaiq. Right? Daqaiq is uh, plural. Tataqaddama, tataqaddamu, asaf. Tataqaddamu, daqiqatain, fi arba'in, wa ishrina sa'atin. My watch, Saati Tatakadamu, it moves forward. Daqika Tain, two minutes. Fi Arba in in four wa ishreen saatin in four and twenty hours. So in twenty four hours. Basically every twenty four hours his watch becomes two minutes fast. Wakad Dabatuha and I said it, al bariata al barihata last night. Fa'akhartuha taqiqatain. Fa'akhartuha from alaf khara to go back. Right, to go forward at taqaddam, to go back at taakhar, to go back. فَأَخَرْتُهَا So I set it back دَقِيقَتَيْنِ So I pushed it back two minutes. سَاعَةِ تَتَّقَدَّمُوا دَقِيقَتَيْنِ فِي أَرْبَعٍ وَإِشْرِينَ سَاعَةً My watch goes forward two minutes every 24 hours. وَقَدْ دَبَدْتُهَا الْبَارِحَةً And I said it last night فَأَخَرْتُهَا دَقِيقَتَيْنِ so I set it back two minutes. Harathi says, Kem to al an? What time is it now? Because they've been talking. First he asked him, Kem ya akhi? What time is it, oh my brother? He told him, Asa ashrun or rubun. It's 10.15. But they've been talking a little bit about the watch and what happened and how come and all that. So Sa'i says, Al An. Now, Ashrun wa Thuluth, as we said. Ashrun, ten and a third. If we were to turn ten and a third to time, say ten and twenty minutes. Harith, he says, Ashkuruka. I thank you. Right? Ashkuruka. Arani Sa'ataka. Show me your watch from Ra'a. Arani is from Ra'a to see. Here he means show me. It's a different form. Means to show me. Arani the same from Baqara 260 of Ibrahim when, when he said show me how you give life to the dead. He used the same word. Arani. Sa'ataka maf'ulun bihi mansub. Right? The object of the verb. Show me your watch. Sa'id says, Tafaddal. From fa dad lam. Meaning, go ahead. Here. Take it. Right? Tafaddal. Mean here. Go ahead. You might tell someone, two of you guys meet at the door first. Say, go ahead. In Arabic, you say, Tafaddal. To a woman, you say, Tafaddali. Right? Tafaddal. Take it. Go ahead. Harith. 
إن ساعة كثمينة وجميلة. He says إن verily and truly ساعة كا إن is a harf which makes the noun following it mensub إن ساعة كا verily your watch ثمينة from ثا ميم نون meaning it's valuable. Right? It's valuable. This is a nice watch. The minatun wa jamilatun. It's valuable and pretty. Mina uha jamilun. Mina is the face of the watch, the flat part of the watch. Right? This flat part where the numbers and all that are. The mina. Mina uha. Its face is Jamil. The face of the watch is Jamil. Wa aqaribuha taqiqa. Aqaribu are its hands. Right? You might have an hour hand. You might have an hour hand, a minute hand, and probably with an old wind up watch, a second hand, right? So, aqaribuha, its hands, right? Daqiqa. Daqiqa, it can mean minute, as we said, right? But it can also mean meticulously and fine, meaning well crafted. It can mean thin, like they're very nice. You know, you have a very, sometimes you see a nice watch that has really thin hands and it makes it even more beautiful. So here, daqiqa means meticulous, fine, thin, all along that line. Waqita'uha, waqita'uha. And you look up aqarib, I'm sorry, ain, qaf, ra, ba. This is one of the words that has four root letters. Qita, you would look up ghain, ta, ya. Qita can mean a cover. Qita means a cover. Here it's going to mean the glass on the watch. The actual raised glass, right? The glass. Right? This would be the mina. This is the mina. Right? And the, these are the aqarib. And this is the qita, the cover. وَقِتَاؤُهَا نَظِيف In its glass, its crystal, or its bezel, is nalif. It's clean, meaning it's not scratched up. A lot of times a nice watch, it has a sapphire crystal, and it can't get scratched, right? بِكَمْ اِشْتَرَيْتَهَا يَا سَعِيدِ بِكَمْ كَمْ as we have here, how many? If we had B in front of it, B chem, as we have here, right? B chem means how much? With how many? Technically, or, uh, uh, you know, yeah, technically maybe, with how many? B with chem, how many? So with how many did you buy it? Or how much did you buy it for, right? B chem, how many? Or how much? B chem, how much? B chem, ishtareitaha. Ishtareita, we had a long time ago, when they went to the souk to buy some fruits and stuff. You bought it. For how much did you buy it? Ya Saeed. Saeed, he says, Ahdaha ilayya akhi al-kabir. Ahdaha is from the word hidaya or hadiya. Right? Meaning a gift. Ahdaha meaning it was a gift to me or Akhi al-Kabir, my big brother, 
My brother, Al Kabir, the big one, my big brother, Ahdaha Ilayya. He gave it to me as a gift. Ilayya to me. Wa akhbarani from Khaf Ba Ra. Form 4. Wa akhbarani, and he informed me Annahu that he ishtaraha, he bought it bi thalathina rubiya. For 30 rupees. 30 rupees. Wasa'atuka become. And your watch is how much? And your watch is how much? Harath, he says. Sa'ati arkhasu minha. My watch arkhasu minha. From Rahis meaning inexpensive or cheap. Not necessarily cheap like quality, but cheap in price. Arkhas is more cheaper or cheaper. More inexpensive. Or more expensive. No, more inexpensive. Meaning it's cheaper. Saati Arkhasu Minha. My watch is cheaper than it. Fa'innaha bi ishreen rubiya. For verily it was for 20 rupees. Qad ahdaha ilayya ammi. Am. Am. Is an uncle. From the father's side. From the mother's side it's khal. Right? But ammi, my uncle. Ahdaha ilayya. He gave it to me. Lamma raja'a min as-safar. Lamma is when. Raja'a. He returned min as-safar from traveling. So basically he bought him as a gift while he was traveling. A souvenir. Sa'id. He says. Inna sa'ata lazimatun fi hadh zaman Inna is a particle of nasp, as we said, so it makes the noun following it, mensub. Verily, a watch. Lazima, from lam, zay, mean. Meaning necessary. Lazim, here, has a tamarbuta because sa'a is feminine. Inna sa'ata, lazimatun. Indeed, a watch is necessary. Fi hadha zaman, in this time. Zaman is another word for time, but it doesn't mean like hour, it means period. Right? In this period, this time that we're living in, this age that we're living in, like that, right? Fi hadha zaman. Fa bisa'ati, for or so, Bisa'ati with a watch. Ya'rifu at-tilmidhu mi'ad al-madrasa. Ya'rifu. He knows. Who knows? The tilmidh. He's the file. Marfur. The student. Tilmidh the student. He knows. Mi'ad al-madrasa. And we had this word mi'ad a long time ago. Right? From wa'ada. Right? Mi'ad. The appointments of the school or the timings of the school. So he knows when the bell rings, when lunch is, when lunch is over, when recess, when class starts. Mi'ad al madrasa. The times of the school. Wa bisa'ati ya'riful Muslim. And with the watch, the Muslim knows. Oqat al jamaati wa salawat. Oqat is the plural of waqt, which is another word for time. So we're getting a lot of words here. Waqt. Right? He knows the oqat al jamaa. He knows the timings of the congregation. Jamaa, the congregational prayers, was salawat. So he knows not only the time of the prayer, but he knows what time they pray too. 
that maybe knows, okay, they pray 20 minutes after the Adhan. So the Salat is at 12. And they pray at 12 with Thuluth. They pray at 12 and 20, 12 and a third, right? So he, he's able to know both of that. With the watch. Harath, he says, Nam. Yes, he agrees with him. Ana kuntu. I used to. Ataakharu. I used to be late, to come late. Remember, we said his watch, Tataqaddam, goes forward, Daqiqatain, two minutes, fi arba'in wa ishreena sa'a, every 24 hours, every day is watch would go forward so he said al bariha right akhartuha i set it back so he says atta akharu i used to be late i used to come lag behind an miyad al madrasa on the appointments of the school the school appointments Fi ba'd al ayam in some of the days ba'd with a dad is some ba'd with a dal means after right fi ba'd al ayami I used to be late I used to come behind be late in some of the school appointments some days wa tafutni Al Jamaati Ahyanin Tafutu from Fa Wao Ta meaning and to lose something or to miss something. Wa tafutani al jama'a and the jama'a the congregation would like pass me by. I would miss it. Ahyanin sometimes we had that word before. Walakin but Mundu Ishtaraituha since Mundu is since Ishtaraituha I bought it Lam Ataakhara or Lam Ataakhar with a sukun rather because Lam makes the present tense Majzum Lam Ataakhar I don't I'm not late An al Madrasa from school Wama Fatatni jama'atun. And I did miss any congregation. MashaAllah. The watch is important. If you're going to miss the salat, the watch is very important. Sayyidi says, Asta'dhinuka li anni musafirun al yom. Asta'dhinuka from idhin. Right? Alif. The noon, right here it means idhin is permission. The scene and ta show the seeking. So istadhinuka, I seek your permission. Right, basically, excuse me. This is Allah says in the Quran al istidhan. He talks about if you visit someone before you leave their house, you have to ask permission. You don't just say, okay, I'm leaving. No, they're hosting you. You came to their house. They went out of their way. They put up their laptop. They told their family to go in the other room so that you could sit with them. And they started preparing some food and some drink and some desserts and stuff like this for you. You can't just get up and say, I'm leaving. No, it's bad etiquette. Right? You put them out of their way, made them clean up their house, you know, dust, vacuum real quick. Hold on, please stay there for a minute. I'll let you in in a minute. They hurry up, run around the house, clean it up. They did all that, and then you can say, I'm leaving. No, you have to ask permission to leave. So he says, I seek your permission to leave. Li anni, li here is li anna, li anna is because. Right? The enni because I Musafirun Elyom. I'm traveling today. I'm a traveler today. I'm traveling. He says I am a traveler because I'm a traveler today, meaning because I will be a traveler. I will travel today. Wamiad al Qitar and the appointment of the train Asa'atu 
ithnata ashrata illa ashara ithnata two ashrata twelve the appointment is at twelve illa ashara except ten meaning at eleven fifty 12 except 10 is 11.50. Harathi says, Al-waqtu wasi' The time wasi' is wide. It's, it's open. It's a long time. Wasi' You got lots of time. There's plenty of room. Plenty of time left. فَلَيْسَ an إِلَّا عَشْرٌ وَنِسْ for it is not now except 10.30. Asharun wa nisfun. 10 and a half. 10.30. Wal mahattatu. Muhatta. From ha ta. Ha ta. Muhatta means the stop. Basically the train station. The train stop. Qaribatun. Qaribatun because Muhatta is feminine. Qarib has to be feminine. Qaribatun min baytik. It's close to your house. Saeed says, Naam, yes. Al waqtu wasi. The time is plenty. It's spacious. It's a lot. Walakin, but li shugulun fi suq. Li for me. To me, for me, shugulun. Some business, something busy. Something keeping them busy, some work. Fisuk, in the marketplace. I have, I have some things I have to do. I have some things that I need to do. Fisuk, in the marketplace. Walam arbiti al hawaija il al an. We said lam makes the present tense. Medzum and it is medzum. Here it's medzum. This thought is medzum. However, it's a sukun I'm trying to draw there. I can get it one second. Draw it like that. But because of reading purposes, you have a sukun here and a sukun on this lamb, then we put this kasra there for reading purposes. Walam arbatil hawaij. Arbat arbat from rabba ta. Right? Meaning to arrange and to set up and to take care of everything. Right? Al Hawaij, his needs. Il al an, until now. So it's 10 30. Wal waqt wasi' wa muhattat al muhattatu qaribatu min bayti. And the stop is close to my house. But I have some business, I have some work in the marketplace. And I haven't put together my stuff that I'm going to need. Up until now, I still haven't done so. Al-Harathi says, Upon the blessings of Allah, he's sending them off then. I understand you got stuff to do. Ala barakatillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi says, wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And he adds to it, as Allah says in the Quran, that when someone gives you greetings, you should add to it or at least respond with like. So Sayyidi did the better and gave him a better greeting. We're going to go through it real quick and translate it without explanation of the words. Inshallah, it will help us. Uh, understand if we're missing anything. Asa'atu. The time or the watch. It's up to you. Harith. He says, Kem asa'atu ya akhi. What time is it, O oh my brother? Sa'i says, Asa'atu ashrun wa rub'un. Alaysa indaka sa'a. Sa'i said, It is. 10 15 10 and a quarter 10 15 don't you have a watch hadha says bala of course walakin sa'ati waqifa i do but 
my watch is stopped. Saidi says, La'alaka ma malataha. He says, Perhaps you didn't wind it. Harathi says, Naam, yes. Nasitu an amla'aha al bariha. I forgot to wind it last night. Ana amla'uha fi sa'at al ashirati fi layl. I wind it at 10 o'clock at night. Walakinni ghalabatni aini al bariha. But last night, my eyes, they overpowered me. فَقَدْ كُنْتُ تَعِبًا جِدًّا For I was very tired. فَمَا مَلَأْتُهَا So I didn't wind it. Saidi says, هَلْ تُرِيدُ ضَبْتَهَا بِسَعَتِي Do you want to set it with my watch? Hard. He says, نَعَمْ Yes. أَضْبِتُهَا بِسَعَتِكَ إِذَا كَانَتْ سَعَتُكَ مُسْتَقِيمًا I'll set it with your watch if your watch is uh, straight, if your watch is, you know, on the right time. Sa'i, he says, Sa'ati tataqaddamu daqiqatain fi arba'in wa ishrina sa'atin. My watch goes forward, it goes fast, it goes forward two minutes every 24 hours. Wa qad dabadtuha al but I said it last night and I put it back two minutes. Harathi says, Kem masa'atu al-an? He says, what time is it now? Sa'i says, al-an ashrun wa thuluth. Now it's 10.20, 10 and a third. Harathi says, ashkuruka, arani sa'ataka. He says, thank you, I thank you. Show me your watch. Sa'i says, tafadlaw. Go ahead. Harathi says, Inna sa'ataka thaminatun wa jamilatun. Indeed, your watch is valuable and beautiful. Mina'uha jamil. Its face is pretty. Wa aqaribuha daqika. And its hands are fine and well crafted. Wa gita'uha nadif. And its glass is clean. It's not scratched up. Bikem mishtareitaha ya Sa'id. How much did you buy it for, O Sa'id? Sa'id says, Ahdaha ilayya akhi al-kabir. My big brother gave it to me as a gift. Wa akhbarani annahu ashtaraha bi thalathin rubiya. And he informed me that he bought it for 30 rubies. Rupees. وَسَعَتُكَ بِكَمْ In your watch, how much is it? Harathi says, سَعَتِ أَرْخَسُ مِنْهَا My watch is cheaper than it. فَإِنَّهَا بِإِشْرِينَ رُبِيَّ For it is only, or for it is, for 20 rupees. قَدْ أَهْدَاهَا إِلَيَّ عَمِّي My uncle gave it to me as a gift. لَمَّا رَجَعَ مِنَ السَّفَرِ When he returned from traveling. Sa'id says, Inna sa'ata lazimatun fi hadha zaman. He says, Indeed, a watch is important in this time. Fa bi sa'ati ya'rif tilmidhu mi'ad al madrasa. For with a watch, the student knows the appointment times of the school. Wa bi sa'ati ya'rif al muslim awqat al jama'ati wa salawat. And with a watch, the Muslim knows the times of congregation and the prayers. Harla said, Naam, yes. Ana kuntu atta'akharu an mi'ad al-madrasati fi ba'd al-ayam. He said, yes, I used to be late to some of my appointments, some of my scheduled appointments in school some days. Wa tafutuni al-jama'ati ahyanin. And I would miss the congregation sometimes. وَلَكِنْ مُنْذُ إِشْتَرَيْتُهَا لَمْ أَتَّأَخَّرَ عَنَ الْمَدْرَسَةِ وَمَا فَتَتْنِي جَمَاعًا He said, but since I bought it, I haven't been late to school, and I haven't missed a jama'ah, a congregation. Sa'i said, أَسْتَأْذِنُكَ لِأَنِّي مُسَافِرٌ اليوم. He said, I seek your permission to go because I am traveling today. وَمِعَادُ الْقِطَارِ سَاعَةُ إِثْنَةَ عَشْرَةَ إِلَىٰ عَشْرَةَ 
and the appointment in the train is 12 except 10, meaning 11.50. Harathi tells him, الوقت واسع, the time is plenty. فليس الآن إلا عشر ونص. It's not now except 10 and a half, 10.30. والمحطة قريبة من بيتك. And the train station, the stop, is close to your house. Said said, Naam, yes. الوقت واسع, the time is plenty. ولكن لي شغلون في سوق. I have some business. I have some busy things that I need to do in the marketplace. ولم أربط الحوائج إلى الآن. And I haven't got my stuff together, the things I'm going to need for traveling up until now. Harathi said, على بركة الله. Upon the blessings of Allah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sayyid so says, Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. With that, ya akhwan, we conclude. If there's any questions, then you can type it in the comments below. And inshallah ta'ala, next week, we will, next Juma, we will put out the new audio. So read ahead with the PDF. Try to read ahead. Try to figure it out on your own. Try to figure out and read it and understand it. And then whatever you're missing, inshallah, we will get it. Don't just be act a passive learner waiting for the new audio to come out. No. Read ahead. Try to understand it. Look, use your dictionary. And then when the new audio comes out, compare what we say with what you come up with. And inshallah ta'ala, every week you will find yourself being closer and closer to the real meaning of the story until maybe you'll be teaching me subhanaka allahumma bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh